This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently have all the U.S. equity futures trading the upside. I guess it would be good if I get over to that screen. So let's do that here. Give me a second. So you've got the U.S. equity futures trading up. Dow futures up 225. NASDAQ 146. Russell is up 19. The ES mini trading up 36.75. She's trading out at 39.34. Over in Asia last night, you had a sea of green. Shanghai up 51, 1 and 6 tenths percent. And EK 1 and 3 tenths, 336. And nearly 3 percent for the Hang Seng. That was nearly 600 points to the upside. In Australia, the Australian 200 finished up 81 points. That's over 1%. In Germany, the DAX up 1 and 7 tenths. The FTSE is up 1 and 7 tenths as well. Odds favor a higher close today in the U.S. market, just simply based on overseas trading. Gold is off 90 cents right now, trading at 1840. Silver's off eight pennies, trading at 2182. You got light sweet crude trading out at 10940 or so, 109.57, it changes off about 30 pennies. 30-year Treasury is up 18 ticks, trading out at 141.05. So I'd say for the day, what's the most important thing to look at? And it's really last week. Last week, the ES Mini generated the first Gartley buy pattern on a weekly basis since the March 2009 lows. I know that sounds unreal, but really, that is a true statement. The first Gartley buy pattern since the 2009 lows. Now, should it does it is it going to does that guarantee that it's going to hold? No. But what it makes it makes last week's hammer candle low. Let me give that number to you. That's down at the 38.55 level, the real key area. Price closed below that today. Well, then price will go target 37.52. That's the next breakout level. But it would be bad news. Inside the NQ, you had a hammer candle last week as well, completing or very close to completing a buy the D point, I believe. So that says for the NQ, which has been weak, that low, which is, by the way, 11,689 is the key area. If price were to close below that, we're looking at 10,912. The Dow Equity Future contract didn't generate any kind of a bottoming signal there. And really, its message from a weekly standpoint is it wants to head to lower price, but not necessarily today. The Russell 2000 formed a hammer candle as well last week, so any closes below last week's lows would spell curtains for the U.S. equity futures. But I don't think that's what we're going to see today. We'll come back and take a look at that next week. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien's up next with the morning market call. Have a fantastic weekend.